Hi there. So, some of my clients have been asking me how to get their vintage American character Betsy McCall doll to sit and to safely do that because, as we all know, the crotch seam is very vulnerable on these dolls and we don't want that to split or the inner mechanism to break. So we have a little volunteer here. This is a very nice mint 1957 Betsy. So I figured we'd use 1957 dolls since those are the oldest and those springs are the stiffest. If you have a mint or unplayed with doll this spring is going to be very stiff because it hasn't been worked. And I've got some parts here so that you can see what the inner mechanism looks like. I'll just move Betsy off to the side here. And this is what you've got inside your doll. And it's, it's like an upside down goal post. And this spring, because this one is not from a mint doll, obviously, since the doll fell apart. Um, this spring is pretty supple and would have allowed the legs to split to, to, um, to give. Here's a leg. And you see this little notch at the top here? This little notch there? That fits inside the goal post like this. Okay, so this is what's inside your doll, and this little part sits into a niche inside the torso, and what has to happen in order for your doll to sit is that the spring has to compress in order to release the leg so that the leg can come forward. Now, I have a torso that's really badly warped here so that you can see the spring inside of this. Yeah, this is a really badly warped torso. But here's the goal post, and you can see the spring down there. And this one is in the right place, and obviously a very played with doll from the condition that this torso is in. And you can see that where the spring connects up in there is right about here in the torso. This has nothing to do with the head. Um, the head usually has a little hook that is just right sticking out here and it doesn't connect at all to the center mechanism that connects with the legs. So between the hook up here and the leg mechanism down here, there is nothing connecting and the arms are connected by a single rubber band here so the head and the legs have nothing to do with each other as far as function so here you can see this pushes this one works this spring is good now this one is missing that's where I took the goal post out. And you can see the niche up inside there where the little top of the goal post would have fit in. If you have a floppy Betsy where the legs just swing back and forth and they, they, don't, they don't hold steady, it's because the inner mechanism has come out of that niche and is flopping around inside there. Okay, so let's see how to get a vintage Betsy to sit safely. Some of them will and some of them won't and this one sits actually pretty easily. Now I've got a nice soft towel here so that if I drop her she's not going anywhere. Don't do this standing up over your tile floor. Now I'm going to push the thigh upwards towards the head, wiggle slightly, very gently, and this one sits pretty easy. Okay. Now you're going to listen for the click as it goes back. Hear that click? That's back into place and now they're not going to fall forwards. So this girl could probably stand okay if we balanced her just right. If she wasn't on a smooth towel, she'd probably stand okay. 
yeah, maybe if she's not on a smooth towel. Anyway, her leg function works great. Now here's another mint 1957 Betsy. See the plastic knee pins here. And this one is really stiff. And she's not going to let me push this thigh up at all to move her forward. So I have taken a toothpick. Let's see if I can get the toothpick in the picture here. Okay, and I nipped off the end of the wooden, wooden, not plastic, toothpick, and then I filed it with an emery board so that when you rub your finger against it, it's not scratchy, it's not sharp. Now, when you're holding the doll upside down, you can look inside here, feel the gold post, and just push it up slightly. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, there we go. I just released the goal post and the legs fall forward. Okay, and you're going to hear the click when I bring her back. And now, now she's stiff. Okay, but that's the way to do it. If you just push, one or two things are going to happen. You're either going to split this delicate crotch seam, or you're going to break the inner mechanism inside here, and she won't work right. Now, because I've already done this once, she might she might let me do it by pushing the thigh. Nope, she's a real stiff one. So again, I'm going to go up inside the goal post. As soon as I push that, there. Okay. As soon as you push that goal post up, just get a little hold on it, then she's going to sit safely. She has a rubber band on her head because I wet her bangs down to try and flatten them. Thank you for watching. Make sure you get your Betsy's to sit safely. Have a doll of a day.